Well, my name is Seher Shah, and I'm a visual artist from Brooklyn, New York. Um, I'm originally from Pakistan, and I have a background in fine arts and architecture. My process and practice mainly revolves around drawing and different representations of architectural space. I tend to use a lot of um, basic elements in my work as well, the sort of universal components of architecture, the wall, the grid, thresholds, um, gateways, very simple reductive components. And I also have been looking at the different ways that perspective also can incorporate itself into drawing, where one object may be seen in different facets and different ways. So one object that may have you know, a cluster of iterations um, seen through different perspectives and views. For me, landscape started out, I guess, maybe six, seven years ago looking at the way that landscape is used maybe more through personal, even autobiographical mapping, like mm -hmm. looking at the idea of particular spaces that were more visceral, that were more, I guess, related to memory. And I, I do think of architectural spaces as landscape as well. The way that they're framed, the way that they're situated. Um, recently, however, I think I've moved more into looking at brutalist architecture, so the start of modernist architecture, and looking at the ways that certain objects are imposed onto the landscape. Uh, the Capital Complex series is um, based on um, a Corbusier project in Chandigarh in India um, that I was fortunate enough to visit um, a year ago, a year and a half ago. Um, and this is sort of ongoing in terms of my research into brutalist structures. And Chandigarh was interesting, especially to me, just because it was the first modernist planned city in India. It was the first time the Corbusier was brought in to sort of situate this capital of the Punjab. And um, really, like, based on his Radiant City plan, um, a city for the automobile, the idea of what modern living meant. And this sort of large-scale complex was quite interesting in that I could actually develop a series of photographs and then sort of reinterpret those photo photographs through a process that was actually used quite heavily at the sort of early stages of modernism, which was collage. So collage started getting used not just in terms of the fine artists, but also in terms of architectural renderings and projections. So I like the idea of sort of moving away a little bit from drawing and moving more into sort of this idea of photographic reconstructions and using a very simple sort of collage-based interpretation. The collages for me, I think, work, I think, with the Kumar work that, whereas there's a certain sort of build-up of perspective in his work, I find that the collages, in a way, are the opposite. That's a different spectrum of like actually being very reductive, highlighting particular things. And it's also erasing part of the photograph that was documenting this idealist sort of, or utopian idealist project things in the photograph then get erased, they're actually quite blank, and then the sort of focus on one particular aspect of that building.